Look at that. Woo! Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about a highly discussed topic in the woodwind and specifically saxophone community, and that is ligatures. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions about ligatures, about different materials to make up the ligature, about the expense of the ligatures. I've seen some online brand new for as low as $6 and as high as $300 something dollars. Is one better than the other? And I'm not going to discuss if something is worth it or not. Today I'm going to discuss the difference in sound between different types of ligatures. I have some standard ligatures and some not so standard ligatures that you can use on your own instruments and I'm going to show you the differences between them. I have 10 different examples for you today including my ligature which is Eddie Daniels Rovner, a standard two screw metal, an all leather Rovner, a hair tie, some Apple earbuds, a Nintendo Switch controller, some LED Christmas lights, some band-aids, some painter's tape, and finally a bolt and nut that I am going to drill through my mouthpiece to see if that works. Yes I'm doing it. R.I.P. to the Meyer. As far as my gear goes, I'm going to be using my Meyer 5 medium mouthpiece, the Dario Select Jazz 3 medium filed reeds, and my Mark VI. Once again, I'm not showing a control and variables. I'm just going to play all different types of ligatures, and I want to see if you can, one, tell the difference between the ligatures, and two, which ones sound better than others. Just kind of see if you can guess which one is which. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen as well. So without further ado, let's get into the ligatures. Alright, what'd you think? Which ones sounded good? Which ones didn't? Also, put your guesses in the comments below as to which numbers corresponded to which ligatures. You don't have to do all 10 if you don't want, but if there are any that stood out to you, try to put your guess below. Now I'm going to play back those same videos in the same order, but without the video blocked so you can see which ligatures corresponded to each video. <laughs> Thank you. 
there we go. 10 very different ligatures, and I don't know if it was 10 very different sounds. Obviously, one of them didn't work nearly as well as the rest, but I was kind of expecting that. Now, is this video to say that gear doesn't matter at all and you should only get the cheapest option? Well, no. A lot of the reason why we buy better gear is so it feels better to us. Even if the audience might not necessarily be able to tell the difference one way or the other, it gets us to our sound much quicker and it makes us more comfortable as we're playing. Now, I'm also not saying that you have to go out and buy the nicest stuff. You can check out my other video right there where I talk about pro versus student instruments and that the same kind of rules apply for that. All right, I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope it was fun for you. I hope it was maybe a little bit informative as well. If you wouldn't mind, please check out some more videos on my channel and subscribe for more. I put out new videos every week. And if you have some other ideas for videos kind of like this one, let me know in the comments below. Thanks and see you in the next video.